one year on from Australia's worst oil spill, communities in West Timor are still seeking compensation. Fish stocks and seaweed farms have been ruined and the ABC's been told that fishermen are turning to people smuggling in order to feed their families. Kerry Ritchie has this report from West Timor. For sadly Hudari Ardani, the past 12 months have been a nightmare. After the oil spill, he watched as his seaweed crop shriveled up and died. I really hope that they can remove all the oil from our waters so that we can continue our work and the future of our kids will come back to life. Last August, the rig in the Montara oil field leaked uncontrollably for 74 days before exploding. Fish stocks were decimated and seaweed farms in West Timor, set up with money from the Australian government, were wiped out. The Indonesian government says within a month it will lodge its compensation claim with the rig's Australian-based owner-operators, PTTEP Australasia. The company refused to be interviewed by the ABC. There are thousands of struggling families like this one in West Timor. They say for the past year, as the world has focused on oil spills in the US, in China and in Queensland, their suffering has been ignored. Locals here say there's been another very worrying consequence of the oil spill. Previously law-abiding fishermen are now turning to people smuggling as they give up hope of compensation. This fisherman says three men from his village have recently been caught. There are some fishermen willing to help illegal migrants. There were none here before, but they no longer have jobs. So whether they like it or not, they have to take those guys across the border. Despite his desperation, sadly, Hudari Ardani says he would never turn to people smuggling. Instead, he's opened his first ever bank account in the hope compensation will be paid. Kerry Ritchie, Lateline.